Okay, I just want to talk a little bit about the layer one scroll for parallaxy, and that's the layer one being the, the distant mountains here. Layer two is the, f the foothills, layer three would be these trees here, and layer four is the full color scroller for the foreground, or sorry, it's the foreground with the full color scroller. Um, but before we get to that point, I just want to say that this is vice running in debug mode, which means y that's why the aspect ratio is like this. It's so rectangular and wide. Um, so what we have is the raster starts up here, zips over here, down here, and it continues across in a fashion like this right down the screen to the very bottom. But in a real machine or in vice in any normal mode, you won't see anything above this point which is the upper, uh, that'll be the upper V blank, or below this point, which is the lower V blank, or to the right of this line, or to the left of this line, approximately. So that's just to explain why I have, or, you know, what's going on here with this funny-looking vice uh, window. So, uh, and also this little flicker down here under the airspace indicator is just, uh, it's an artifact of this visualization. Now this visualization uh, shows what's going on with this raster interrupt handler which is triggered here, which is at the bottom of the normal screen. This is where the open border would st would start. It also it happens to handle the layer one scrolling, so that's that's why I've visualized it for this particular example. And this is the old this is the old way of doing it, um, going back to midsummer two thousand and nineteen. Um, so white represents non-scroll execution and grey is scr scroll code execution, but you can't really see it, it's just a sliver at this point. But once we move, you'll, you'll see it. So let's, let's move, let's see it. Um, so, yeah, you'll see a flash every so often, and that flash is whenever the software scroll happens. Uh, that happens every time we go 8 pixels, sorry, 8 pixels this way, and then reset. Do, do a software scroll, do another yet hardware pixels that way, and do the reset and so on. So in between, so it's, it's every eight um, hardware scrolls, we get a flash. If we go a bit faster, it's, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll, I'll just pause it and advance frame by frame. There we are. So it's of the order of 40 raster lines deep, which is ridiculously too much for scrolling six six rows. Incidentally, it works on the. It, it's not the uh, scroll and you know sc you know scroll one one column right across and then feed in a column. It's not that model. It's the. It's indexed and redraw. If if you're a coder, you'll know what that means. If you're not a coder, um, it, it means that we're kind of just. <laughs> how do I explain this to a non-coder? We're, we're just redrawing it from a map. Um, directly rather than fading a little bit and scrolling a bit. I think that's the best way to explain that. So, yeah, so this is too much. Because this is so deep, I can't have another raster split, say, here underneath the, that um, weapons indicator. So let's try, let's, let's go to the visualization of what I actually ended up doing. And that would be... Is it this one or is it this one? Yeah, it's this, right. So we'll just slow down here. Um, now this time I've actually bothered to show all the different raster splits and uh, the, the different things that are going on in the different raster interrupt um, handlers throughout the, the screen. But we just, we're just interested in this one, which is uh, ostensibly orange, although I always thought that it looked more like a kind of a light brown. But uh, anyway. So there's the white bar. We're doing more on the interrupt handler, more non-scroll stuff before, but it's the same. This little grey bar, when we're, whenever we're static, it's, it's of the same order as was the case before. It's just a little sliver. But when we start scrolling, don't look at the mountains. Look at this. Go at full tilt here and try to avoid that, yeah. You'll see that at full at full speed, it's something of the order of seven or eight raster lines deep, which is a massive saving on what it was before. It, it, it was, if you recall, it was of the order of forty lines deep. So, but of course, this is jerky and horrible, and that's because I've deliberately broken it for the sake of the visualization. 
I slow it down a little bit, and what happens is we scroll a bit here, 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 a bit here. So that's the software scroll is distributed across the hardware scroll, but it's done on a another screen bank that normally you won't see. It's normally synchronized, but I have it deliberately exposed here so that you can see what happens. And what we do is we leapfrog the previous version by 16 pixels or two chars every time, right? So it's an ongoing leapfrog thing. And whenever the hardware scroller res scroll resets, um, we then switch screen banks. So it's called double buffering or, or bank switching. I, I, for I, I just think the term bank switching is is better than calling it double buffering. That's just my personal preference, right? But as you can see, there is a progression through the landscape, but it's um, because I've done this ug ugly visualization, it looks kind of weird. So let's let's go to the proper version, right? Um, these these flags, incidentally, are just markers for me um, for development. It's, it's just to show where the, the wrap happens on the 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 map for the mountains so okay let's move forward and there we are that's how it looks working properly there's no jerkiness or uh, or anything like that it's just everything is is um, perfectly synchronized now but what uh, what happens is every I'm flying back into helicopters there and I don't want to show these helicopters just yet. Yeah, so what happens is every, sorry about that, every um, eight hardware scrolls in the reset happens. Every time that happens, we do the, we just switch banks because everything has now been pre-scrolled into place. It all happened during the hardware scroll. Um, and that's that's the amount of raster time, the maximum it uses down there. Something, as I say, about seven or eight raster lines deep. Um, yeah, you might you might wonder why the plane is changing colour and it's pretty ugly as well. That's just to visualise for me the forward airspeed uh, um, during development, right? So the black is ho in the hover or stationary. The white is um, forward airspeed one, which is the the lowest speed. Um, red is two. Cyan <laughs> is three. Purple is four, green is speed five, and blue is speed six. So the the, the game there we are again with helicopters. The game scrolls at um, six different forward air speeds for the the plane. Um, and so I suppose I can I might as well show the might as well show the upgraded um, vertical parallax a little bit. The controversial vertical parallax that got all the <sighs> they got the haters in a in a twist and the um, yeah also I redesigned the trees because some people didn't recognize the the previous version of trees as trees and I redesigned the the chrome domes as well to make them give them more of a liquid metal vibe now that points to something I have planned for later in the game but I don't want to say any more about that for now. So on that um, on that happy note, I shall stop for now, and I hope that you've got a kind of an idea for what's going on with this double buffer screen, um, or sorry, yeah, screen bank switching uh, method for scrolling this layer, and thus saving um, a massive amount of. I think it's getting on for eighty percent of of the time on the <coughs> on the layer one scroll so I think it was it was worth it anyway even if I haven't necessarily explained it as well as I as I would like to have okay so that's it bye